Hello everyone, this is Lucas Horklox, and welcome back for some more Dragon Quest 3 Soshida and Sesue. Last time, we ventured through the road to the Necrogon and managed to obtain the final orb, the silver orb. So now that we have all the legendary orbs, um, we can summon the ancient power, basically, and we can travel um, anywhere in the world map without needing a ship, or at least that's what they say. Um, but anyway, I'm basically back here at Alihan, um, at, at the bank, because I, I guess I do want to show how you withdraw items if you don't understand what the fuck these guys are saying in Japanese. Alright, so basically, when you talk to the guy here at the bank, you want to select hik, um, Hikitori Nikita, um, which is to withdraw any items or gold, um, and then after that, select Dogu, which, um, which is tools, and then you're taken with to with uh, this giant list of all the stuff that you've um, deposited. Um, and yeah, you can press the arrow here to cycle through the pages. Um, yeah, and after that, just select the item that you want to um, take. In this case, I want to take the green orb. And then he'll ask... Um, oh, well, and then he'll tell you that it costs one gold. Because it's a key item, there, it only costs one gold to withdraw. So, yeah, say yes, I know. And then you want to... Um, select um, whoever's gonna carry it. So I'm just gonna have John Jones carry it, but I think he's full actually. Um, all right, let me. Ch oh no, actually no, he's not full. Okay, never mind. Okay, I think I got everything. Let's see. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, it's six legendary orbs. All right. Okay. So now that we have all the orbs. Um, people tell you this, I, I, again, I've, I neglected to talk to any of the townspeople that, or at least shown who basically tells you all this stuff, but there is a shrine called the Liam Lin Shrine that's basically around, um, the South Antarctic, um, and that's where you want to place all the orbs there, because, yeah, um, and the closest place to get to the Antarctic uh, I think it's around Rancho. Yeah, it's, uh, it's around Australia, basically. Alright, let's warp to there. Okay. Oh, and... Yeah, I'm gonna cast Ohedos because I really do not want to fight a bunch of bullshit enemies. Now that I'm really high-leveled. Okay. So, what you want to do is, you want to, um... Basically, circle around Australia here. Yeah, I know it's not called Australia, but I'm fucking calling it because it's supposed to re it's represent... That's what it represents. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you just sell all the way to the west here, and then I think at this point you can sell all the way south, and you'll yeah, there we go. You'll see um, the Antarctic. Oh shit, it's getting dark. Doesn't matter anyway. Oh my gosh, look at all those lines there. Ha! <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, see these little white blocks? They're supposed to be the pedestal, so you have to um place an orb here on top of these so let's place a silver orb here and it doesn't matter which orb you place where yeah every time you place an orb in one of the pedestals like a little flame pops up and yeah oh and don't mind the shrine maidens here yeah they just tell you that they're the guardians of the shrine and once all the six orbs are placed on the altar um the legendary god bird ramia f um rises from i don't know from the egg there yeah you see there's an egg there Okay, um, now use the yellow orb. Then we want to use the red orb. To be fair, this is one of my favorite parts in this entire game. I just love this scene. Well, I mean, it's not that it's cinematic. I just like the feeling that it ta that it gives you. Or at least that it shows because of the song that plays. <laughs> oh, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. I just really love it. Okay, let's place the final orb here, and that does it. Now, I think you have to talk to your Shrine Maidens here. Alright. And with that, the bird comes to life. Okay. <gasps> it's a chicken! No, no. <laughs> Trust me, it's supposed to be a giant bird. I know it's because it the same size as we are. It doesn't look that majestic, but it is. It's the holy bird. <laughs> Alright, and it flew off. Okay, it doesn't, no, no, it didn't really fly off. It just went, like, right there. It's right there. Alright, guys. 
this is honestly one of my favorite songs. One of them, not like like my most favorite, but one of my favorite musical pieces that this series provided throughout this entire year. It is absolutely the best, and I fucking, I fucking love that they reused it in Dragon Quest VIII. Oh my lord, if you have not heard the orchestrated version of this song, I highly suggest that you stop watching this video, um, I guess you're already on YouTube if you're watching it, and then search the song Heavenly Flight. You will not be disappointed. It is so fucking good. I, I just have no words. I'm just gonna be silent and just let, um, let you enjoy this 8-bit rendition of this majestic sound- of this majestic soundtrack. Just listen to it! Okay. Oh my gosh, I fucking love this song. Oh my gosh, I love it! Oh my gosh, this is why this is one of my favorite parts of the game. I just love hearing this song. I I mean, I know it doesn't really sound like much, but it just, it's just trust me, just hear the orchestrated version of the song and you'll just, it'll, it'll put your mind at ease. I fucking love this. I love this song. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have the Heavenly Bird Ramia, or Lamia, I don't know. I'm gonna call her Ramia because Lamia is a fucking monster, but you wanna go all the way to, I guess, Russia. Um, okay, I know I'm not, be I'm not being very good right here navigating. Okay, there it is. Yeah, you wanna get to this castle here. Um, and unlike any other modes of transportation in other RPGs, you can land on forests and mountains and whatnot, so... Yay! This is better than a fucking airship. Okay, yeah, you wanted to get... You wanted to come to this castle here, um, and... It's near the... Um, uh, you know what, I'll just fucking show it, hold on. Gives me another chance to hear this song again. <laughs> um, it's near the river that, um... I sailed through to get to the Olivia Shrine. See, remember this place and the shrine, um, that, or the little hermit house, um, the house is that dwarf that uh, apparently was a companion to Ortega there. Yeah, it's basically right here. You wanted to come here. Nobody in the game tells you to come here after you get the fucking bird, by the way. I don't know where the game, uh, I don't know where in the game they tell you that you have to come here, but you have to come here, basically. Um, alright, so you want to use the final key here. Oh, oh, by the way, I, I guess I'll just show this off. These horses can talk. <laughs> yeah, okay, hello. <laughs> um, basically, this is the castle of the Dragon Queen. Holy shit. Oh, and there's a dwarf here. Hello. Yeah, he basically tells you that the, dra the legendary Dragon Queen lives here. Now... Okay, I, I guess I neglected this long enough. Um, we're almost at the end of the game. And you guys might be thinking at this point, what the fuck does this game have to do with the, with the legendary Hiroto? We haven't heard once from the guy, or we haven't heard anybody mention his name. Or better yet, we never we haven't even seen the kingdom of Alephgar. Where the fuck is it? Why this world looks completely different from the world of Dragon Quest 2? Well... You'll see soon enough. You'll you'll see soon enough. Anyway, you wanted to come here and talk to the Dragon Queen. She basically tells you if if you're gonna be fighting against the evil Archfiend Batamos, then she'll offer her power to you, and she gives us. Um. Oh well, she turns into it. She basically dies because she was giving birth, but she gives us the Hikari no Tama. Holy shit! The Ball of Light! Remember this item from the first game? Yeah, this is the light that restored peace to the Kingdom of Alucard. Why the fuck is it here? Well, I'm not gonna spoil that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, again, yeah, I know. It's kind of a dick move on my part, but... You'll, you'll see, you'll see. 
Okay, how the fuck did I get- oh, I think I guess. Just get out of here. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? No, not use the ball of light on the door, use the final key. There you go. Okay. So yeah, we need a hat. We, we, we needed to get the ball of light in order to defeat Bottomalls. Actually, no, 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 wait. This, this, this actually isn't mandatory. Um, well, it's mandatory in the sense of, you know, the main story, but in the technical side, it really isn't mandatory. It's not like the game will lock on you if you don't have the ball of light, but... Okay, now that we have that, let's finally go to Castle Bottomos. Oh my gosh, I love this song. Guys, I, I'm, I know, I'm, I'm rambling on about it, but I, I love this heavenly flight. Oh my gosh! If I ever go in to ride a plane anytime soon, I am playing this on my iPod. I cannot get enough of it. I fucking- No, no! Come on! There you go. Yeah, also, I didn't mention, the controls with Ramya are kind of weird, because she actually moves automat- She automatically moves, so you just have to- All you have to do is just you know, make her turn. Anyway, yeah, we're finally at Castle Bottomos. Um, uh, no, 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 I didn't mean to uh, um, fly on the bird. Um, and sadly, I am not going to get into the castle in this video, but let's take a little quick, um, a little quick sneak peek here. Yeah, Castle Bottomos. Um, basically, what I'm gonna be doing, um, between now and on the next video, we're gonna be doing another huge level grinding session, folks. We're gonna, uh, my next main goal is to get to Tana at level 34, because at level 34, she'll have the opportunity to learn Behomara. It's basically Behoimi, but it, um, it hits all of your party members, and you we really will want to have that for this area here. Trust me. Um, ah, fuck, hold on. The, yeah, I forgot the encounter rate, and the, uh, at least in the outside of the castle is kind of low. Um, hold on, I do want to show off the enemies here before ending the video here, so I can at least tell you, at least show off what enemies you're going to be facing here during the level grinding, because I basically want to do my level grinding in here. Um, but you know what? Let's actually bring in the Golden Claw, um, there, so. You know what? I'm gonna take the opportunity to do that real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I got the Golden Claw in my inventory now. Yeah, remember how, um, how you can kind of do a little trick there without using, um, depositing that thing without using the bank. You just give it to one of the, um, party members at Ruida's bar there. Anyway, okay, so here we got a new enemy, the Ugoku Seki Soul. <laughs> okay, um, I think they're, I think that translates to like the living statue or the moving statue or whatnot. But anyway, they have 195 HP, they can drop a, um, a Gaia armor, um, and just like with any powerhouse and powerhouse-ish enemy, they can deal critical blows, and they have a lot of MP, I mean, HP, I'm sorry. So what you want to do here, um, you want to cast Rari, you want to have Lucas, or at least your hero, cast Rari Ho, because they're susceptible to it, and have, um, your sage, um, cast Manusa. Um, yeah, just to, um, lower their accuracy there. And I, that, I think they don't, I don't know if they're susceptible to spells. Okay, yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're resistance to most, um, damaging spells. Okay, so you're just gonna have to rely on your physical attacks here. But yeah, they hit really hard, so you definitely want to debuff them first. Um, and you know what? I'll just cast Rari Ho, fuck that. Um, and I guess when you want to fight them now, because I think... Hold on, let's try Hyaluruko. I really think that they don't... Oh. Okay, no, no, no. I just got lucky with Hyaluruko. I think what you want to do is just cast Baikiruto on one of your melee fighters just to, um... Quicken, um, the battle here, because, yeah, it's gonna take a while to kill these guys. Yeah, let's fucking cast, um, Baikiruto. Uh, there we go, Baikiruto on Lucas, and Baikiruto on Clark there. Hopefully, they don't kill John Jones, really, I don't really don't want him to die. 
Does it give you a lot of experience points? Ow! Okay, that dude is dead. Uh, Zatanna, heal him real quick, please. Let's see if I can get lucky with- no, never mind. <laughs> uh. But yeah, these guys are a no-brainer. Just, just gotta watch out with your HP there, because again, they can deal critical hits, and they hit really hard. <laughs> okay, there you go, jeez. Yeah, look how much experience points they give you. Okay, um... Let me just heal up again. Alright. Oh, these guys again. I think we can meet up a new enemy here. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Let me just try to... Um, kill these guys quickly. I think we can meet up some... Another new enemy here, or it's just these guys. I think it's just these guys, actually. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, hold on, I'll just try one more, uh, I'll try one more battle, and if it's just, um, these giants again, then I might just have, might just have to end the video here. One thing you can do with those, um, living statues... Okay, good, we get a new enemy, we get the evil mage. Okay, the evil mage, they have 95 HP, they can drop, um... Oh! Shit! I forgot to show this up! Okay, they can drop a Eudrasil leaf. Um, and they can cast... Oh, they can cast Behoma, Merami, Nahiado, Medapani, Dariho, Mahoton. Oh, you name it. You want to kill these guys quickly. Okay. I'll just have Clark and Lucas gang up on him. Actually, that might be overkill. You know what? I'll just have Lucas um, deal with the... With the giant there, and I'll just have... Um... Zatanna cast Baikiruton, Lucas, and John Jones cast Maltora on the evil mage. Fuck, it didn't work. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Ow. Oh, Mahia- Oh, I'm sorry, Mahiado does hit a group of enemies. Okay, I did not- I forgot about that. Actually, no, I didn't forget, I just for I didn't know about that. I thought that was just a single targeting, um, really big ice damaging spell. Okay, what a batch! Um... They hoi me on John Jones. Uh, Mahotora, come on, work on that. Yeah, yeah, sap away some of his MP. There you go. Okay, scratch that. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Um, okay, yeah, you know what? I oh, can't believe I, I knew I forgot something. Yeah, I think those are all- you know what, hold on, let's just find another new enemy. This- this will be a short video. Okay, there's just some line heads, whatever. Okay, I think for the most part, all the other enemies that you can meet up in here are basically the same enemies that you can find at the, um, um, Road to the Necrogon, because on my beast area I'm seeing, like, the Hell Knights, the Hollow Ghosts, the Snow Dragon that we met up outside. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I, okay, I, I need to do this real quick. I need to drop off the Golden Claw at a lion hand, and then I'll just meet you guys, um, at a lion hand. Alright, I'm back. Um, now that I deposited the Golden Claw, I, okay, yeah, I forgot to show off where you can get the Eudrasil Leaf in the world map here. <laughs> Whoops, okay, I forgot to do that. Um, anyway, you want to go, in order to get to the place that you can get it, um, you want to warp to Dharma Shrine. No! Fuck, I meant to hit the arrow. It's, it's so redundant, I can't believe I warped to a lion hand from a lion hand. What am I- what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> okay, jeez, there we go, Dharma. What a waste of MP there. Okay, so you want to take Ramya all the way to the north because... Somehow, China is just condensed. It's just full of forests in here. Yeah, it's just one giant forest. Now, you see this little mountain here? Um. Uh, oh, wait, I think. Okay. Yeah, you see that little mountain there? You'll come across. Oh, fuck, what the? F where am I? Oh, this is the South Mountain. Okay, I was like, where? Okay. You want to get to the middle in between these four mountains. See, there's one right there. And then there's one right there, and then there's one right here. Alright, so the Eudrasial tree is actually at the center of the four mountains here. So you just want to drop down here, and no, no, no. 
You want- Oh, no, Lamia! You want to inspect the middle point here. No, we didn't get shit. Okay. Not in... You might want to cast away also, actually, here, just in case you don't run into some bullshit. Okay, no, 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 that's way too far. Um... Nope. Sorry, didn't mean to get into a battle there, but I think... Fuck, what? Ah, oh, come on, are you really- I think it's actually where Ramya is standing, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Move, there we go. No! Oh, gosh, sometimes I kind of hate that she automatically moves. Where the fuck is it? It should be in the center here. Did I pass it? There we go, finally! Okay, here we get the Seikaiju no Ha. Okay, yeah, we get a Leaf of the World Tree, the only reviving item in the entire game, and you can only get one of these things at a time. Unless you, you're lucky enough to get one at a, as an enemy drop. But yeah, um, that's basically it for this video. As you saw there, um, at Baramos' castle, you, you want to do your level grinding in, um, at the outside of the- Well, you, you want to head into the castle and you want to just fight the enemies at the outskirts of the castle there, using the Golden Claw because the encounter rate um, outside of um, the castle or the courtyard, basically, that's what I want to say. I was trying to figure out what the word for that is. Um, yeah, the the courtyard there, the enemy encounter rate is really low, so you would definitely want to get the golden claw to up the up the encounter rate there. Um, and and if you ever want to do some healing, um, you can just warp to Isis, um, because that's where that's the town that's closest to Bonamos' castle there. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be trying to get Satana at least up to level 34 so she can learn Behomada, and then we'll be golden from there on out. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye!